Hey everybody, Wayne here. In today's Let's Play, we are going to play a turn or two of Drive on Suez, Rommel Drives Deep, 1942, uh, designed by Joseph Miranda, published by Decision Games in World at War number 78. Um, this is a solitaire game, and this is some. I had a couple comments, people saying, hey, can you do a, uh, can you do a playthrough, partial playthrough, something like that, just to see it in action. Um, and just for reference, I will have... Um, I'm not sure exactly when this video will go up, but I have a recon unboxing, unbagging. Um, I have a uh, let's chat, so discussion video. And then I do have an overview and review coming as well. So we're going to have all kinds of content on this game. But none of the above has a direct playthrough, so let's go ahead and work on that. Again, um, it's probably only going to be the first turn or two. It's not going to be the complete game. Um, but hopefully give you a good idea, how, see how the game works, and see why uh, why I do enjoy it. So let's go ahead and uh, we got it all set up here. So I think we're ready to dive in. Let's see. Yep. So we have our forces. So quick little recap. Um, we are um, Rommel, the Axis, uh, PAA, Panzer Army Africa. Um, so the Germans and Italians starting here. We've taken Tobruk, um, kind of gone to the edge of Libya here. And we are about to enter Egypt and we are trying to drive east. So let's go ahead and begin. Um, follow down a sequence play kind of explain things as i go a little bit um well, it's not gonna be a full overview we'll, we'll have that um in the other video but I'll, I'll cover things as i go so all right so we skip the first phase which is the basically where we would draw for the axis we would draw a random event we're going to skip that on the first turn we go on to the reinforcement phase so we're going to roll for our supplies to see what we get for supplies and i notice the camera um or you guys notice the camera is very zoomed in i have it zoomed in on the play area here up to what looks like about here um, in the first couple turns we will not make it past El Alamein here anyway so this is kind of superfluous um, but I really wanted to focus on the action because you're going to see the movement and everything here as we're maneuvering and moving um, and then you're going to see I'm going to have the combat um, units when I lay them out I'm going to have them right here which you guys will also be able to see on the camera as well so you should see everything just fine here um, you're just missing, you're missing like charts and tables and stuff, but I don't think that necessarily needs to be sitting here on the screen. I'll explain things off, off, uh, off screen. So, um, all right. So the reinforcements, so we're going to roll for our, re uh, our supplies, uh, to see how many, uh, supplies. So you go ahead and roll. Now we're going to check the air superiority. It's on allied right now, which means there is a, um, no modifier to zero. So we just roll a 1d6. And there's a chart off map or off camera, excuse me. A four means we get three supplies. So go ahead and grab three of these bad boys. Um, and you can, we actually already have three from the initial setup. So we can go ahead and place these. Um, according to the rules, we'll be able to place one at this minor port. You can see it's like a black, smaller anchor. There's a big blue anchor here. So we can put one here with that stack. Um, and then the other two will have to go here in Tobruk. Um, now we can spend our Desert Fox points to purchase reinforcements. Um, we have 24 Desert Fox points. Again, I'll cover that a little bit more in the overview. Um, but basically, we can spend them. But there are things where it'll check on the index where you are. Right now, we're at high. But as, as we're spending them, we're going to drop down from high to medium to low. Um, let's see. Let's go ahead. I definitely want to buy. Um, let's see the tactical air and the long range bomber are two each. Ooh. Let's go ahead and spend one, two. We'll buy a long range bomber. Um, let's go ahead and place that uh, with the rest of our guys there. Should spend any more? Uh, let's, uh, yeah, let's actually spend two more. So we actually drop from 24, sorry, 24. We spent them down to 20. So actually at medium on the Desert Fox Index, but we get another long range bomber. Actually, that's the both that were available. Um, again, I know you guys, just, you can't, all you can see is like my arm. So there's boxes, holding boxes for, you know, the air we have available, um, units we have available, then units we can like buy as reinforcements. Um, they're called reinforcements, but we have to like purchase them with the Desert Fox points. And that's what I'm doing. I'm putting them in my box ready to go. So... All right, um, did that. Let's go to the intelligence phase. Um, let's go ahead. We have one signal um, intelligence in our supply or in our uh, available support. Let's go ahead and place him on solemn here, which he's going to go ahead and reveal the... Actually, I don't think we reveal yet. We're actually going to go ahead and roll. So we place him here. Go ahead and roll 1d6. We want to get higher. We want to get 4, 5, or 6. Boom, 5. So he now he reveals... 
So we're going to see there's a couple allied infantry there, motorized infantry and a regular infantry here. And he's going to stay there because now he's going to help us if we engage in combat there, which, trust me, by the way, we are going to. Spoiler alert, we are going to. All right, done with the intelligence phase, operations phase, long-range bomber, attack sub-phase. We're definitely going to send the long-range bomber. And what we're going to do is we have a big stack because we bought two more. So we have a total of five long-range bombers. Um, we're going to go ahead and we are going to send them all against the air superiority here to try to fight that, try to lower that. So let's see, three, four, five. Only have three of the great guys. Uh oh, go ahead and roll. Um, let me see. Let me check the battle table here, so, we'll, so you guys know what we're hoping for. Um, long range bomber attack versus the air power index. So we're trying to lower it, right? Just trying to get to our superiority. Um, we don't want any ones because if we suffer a one, it's gonna hurt our bomber. I'm um, just gonna have to go to the refit box. If we get a five or six, it's gonna lower the index. So let's hope for fives and sixes. Crappy roll, probably because I kind of palm rolled it. So re-roll? No. All right, we won't do that. All right, so no fives or sixes, which is absolutely terrible. Um, and two two ones. So we're gonna go ahead and send two of our long range bombers to the refit box. We're gonna spend supply to get them back later. And we didn't impact the air superiority um, index or the air power index, I should say, at all. Awesome. Good job, guys. All right. Now they will go. The ones we didn't. Get, the ones that didn't like get hurt, they go in the air used box, and we'll get them at the end of the end of the turn. All right, ground movement sub phase. All right, now let's go ahead. Um, like, like clearly, we're we got to attack, right? We got to move in. So here we have we have a bunch of forces here in Bardia. They're gonna move into Solum. Let's go ahead and. All right. So what we have is for stacking for movement and stacking. So it's movement. Um, we're not going to use our supply for movement because we only are going to move one space. We don't even need to waste the supply. So we're going to go ahead and, although actually, should we for, uh, so we could do, um, possible pursuit. Mm, oh, I think you do that for combat anyway, so that's fine. Yep. So we'll be, go ahead and let's go ahead and send, so we'll send one in. And as soon as you do that, it would reveal them. Obviously we had already seen them. Uh, two, three, that's limit of stack, stacking from that size unit. Um, let's see, size, you know, obviously standard NATO symbol and whatnot. Um, fortunately, the Panzer Lair, although he's only a one, he also can stack with them because he is a smaller unit. And the supply goes with him as well. So we'll have all these guys move in there. And that's, they'd all have one movement basically, even out of supply, the non motorized, which was the Panzer Lair. He only has a movement of one, but it's only one because we're moving along red, which is road route. I think you guys can see, yeah, you guys can see the terrain key down here. So that's easy. So they're done with their movement though. Um, we can't overstack. At the end of the movement phase can't be overstacked. So we can't move any more in there. We can definitely move down to um, Halfaya. So what we'll do is we'll send, what do we got here? Oh yeah. We'll send these guys. We'll go ahead and reveal him right away. All right. Him and then him. Now what we'll also do, um, well, we'll wait. I guess we'll wait until the movement's done. So send them there, them there. Um, and let's go ahead and start kind of moving, moving our guys up. So move this stack here. They're all infantry. They get one movement because they're not supplied. Again, I'm not using any supplies right now for movement. I feel comfortable with the movement that they can do being unsupplied. Um, let's see here. Uh, we have motorized recon, which they're motorized. Auto supply gets two. So that'd be one, two, right? Yeah, we'll do that. Now there's counters you can use for auto, mark them out supply, but basically everyone's auto supply for movement right now. I really only use those for combat, just a reminder. It's a little mnemonic, so. Um, I think he's maxed out, isn't he? Yup, he is. So he's gonna, these units are gonna stay there. They're gonna follow up. Um, and then this infantry, Italian infantry will move over here. All right, now we have our supplies. We do need our supplies though, because we're gonna need um, them for the fighting that's coming up here. So, the supply is in supply, thankfully, um, for movement, and they can have a movement of four, um, if they, and then six if they don't enter enemy territory, but they are gonna enter, because we're gonna, at least some of them are. So, one, two, three, so you're gonna go with him. One, two, three, so go with him. One, two, three, with him. And then, We'll do, well, actually, uh, yeah, one, two, three, one, two, 
three. All right, so basically we're stacking up a bunch of supplies. Doesn't count, obviously, the trucks and stuff. They don't count for uh, stacking purposes. So I think that's it for movement. Basically, we moved up our forces. We advance into Egypt, and we're going to have some combat here. So very exciting. Um, yeah, let's go ahead. And uh, the next thing would be Allied Reaction Subphase. So this is where we're going to do a reaction check because we moved into Allied Territory. Um, both of these were Allied Controlled. We just moved in. So we're going to see if additional Allied reinforcements show up. Um, so up here, basically check whatever the terrain type is, which if you remember, it was a square, which is open. See the crane key down here? It's open. Um, the allied reaction on that is a one or a two, which means we roll the red die here. A one or a two, they'll get one or two units. Um, three, four, five, six, nothing happens. So roll for there. A one, so he does get one. So we draw from the regroup bin and he'll be revealed right away. Be an additional infantry there. And we'll check for down here. Again, one or two, roll the four, nothing happens there. All right, now the combat subphase. Um, let's go ahead and do the combat here in Solemn first. So what we can do, we'll move our guys down here so we have a little more space. We'll place the battle marker there. I like the game included that. All right, let's, now, so now what we do here, um, pretty simple, it's called tactical deployment. If you've played Joseph Miranda's games, he does this on a number of his games. So what you do is you line up the AI, the enemy, right, you let from strongest to weakest. So we're going to go from top to bottom. Us, we can line up however we want, which is kind of nice. So we're going to put the Panzer layer first as kind of the, um, uh, I want to say the shield, but that's just what we're doing. All right, we have everyone kind of lined up. And I know you guys, let's see here, double check. Yep, you guys can see it. So they're lined up. And then we have the signal here, and I'm leaving there as a mnemonic again. And the uh, these will not be part of combat, hopefully, unless we lose, in which case that's bad. Um, so that'll give us a plus on our tactical. Now, we have to decide a couple things. Uh, is Rommel going to support the combat? Um, are we going to do airstrikes? Are we going to do, uh, so like air support? Or and are we going to do um, other support, like artillery? Um, I think, looking at how we're going to do this, we're going to send Rommel in to help. So that Rommel will add additional. And then we're going to go ahead and do, let's see, what do we got here? One, two, let's go ahead and do... Three. There's no reason, really no reason not to. We're going to do three airstrikes or just send three of our aircraft. Now, the aircraft have to be within range of um, airports, which let's, let's double check. I think we have an airfield right here, don't we? Oh, no, we don't. Where's the closest one? Okay, so one, two. Now he can, and then here, one, two, that's three. That's too far away. So this Aladem can support four aircraft. And then does he have any? No. Oh, bummer. So really, that's it. And he can only support four. So should we save one? No, we're, we're going to commit three. And then we can only use um, one for this battle if we want to support it. So let's go ahead and use all these. So we have our basically our commitments of like the forces are lined up. We have our commitments on um, airstrikes and support units. And we're not going to commit any of our artillery or anything like that. This is there. Just going to do some airstrikes. We're going to go ahead and execute them first. So each point is a strength point. Um, roll in our little... Battle results table, again, I know you guys can't see it, but two, two, two. So obviously we're gonna roll six dice. So we get three, four, five, six. I am gonna roll them. I don't know, I messed up the map. I'm gonna roll them off map. I'm sorry, guys. Um, uh, we got, whoa. So we got a one, a five, and two sixes. So um, the one means one of the Aircraft here goes to the refit display. Wah, wah. Just like what happened to our long-range bombers, remember? But we had two sixes and a five. Each six is an elimination. Um, and then each... Um, and then a five is a retreat. So with two eliminations, and you start from strongest to weakest. Actually, with airstrikes, I'm sorry. Airstrikes, we get to pick. So we're going to go ahead and eliminate and eliminate. So they go to the temporarily eliminated box, and then this last allied unit retreats, which he goes in the regroup bin. Boom, there are no, none left. So we, we don't even have to worry about uh, the rest of combat, which would be, we'd have to determine tactical edge, and then we do the back and forth shooting at each other. These guys go to the air used box. Rommel, I turn him sideways to show he was used. The signal, he does go in the support bin, unfortunately, the reinforcement bin, because we used him. Um, but otherwise, should we won. Oh, and then, my bad, before we kind of did it, and we didn't roll yet or whatever, but just to know, so we had three supplies. I did want all my forces to be in full supply for the combat, so just to be fair and not, you know, like, 
cheat or whatever, I'm going to say that I was going to use one, so I spent one to make sure that, that combat would be um, would be solid. Now, we're also going to do, so if, if, motor, if you're motorized and you win um, a combat like that, you can do a pursuit, and there's nobody left, you can do a pursuit into an adjacent, so that's what we're going to do. So we have to leave the Panzer layer behind, so we're going to advance into City Barani, so the Panzer layer stays behind because he's just uh, infantry. We're going to go ahead and advance, go ahead and flip him over, oh no. All right, now we'll roll for um, roll for reaction. It's an open space, so one, two, reaction. Roll five, so no reaction. Um, now we'll go ahead and oh, excuse me, there is no reaction as part of um, pursuit. So I, it, it, nothing happened, but just I just remembered that. So even if I had rolled, you actually would not have basically you know consider it like a shock, right? So it's you, they wouldn't have time to react. So but let's go ahead and conduct that battle here just to knock it out of knock it out so for our guys down here boom 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 now we can't do any sort of um we're to use rommel unfortunately i don't believe he follows with i don't think so um maybe he does does he no i don't think he does and eh, we're gonna say we're gonna say he doesn't so um um all right, so basically it's another combat again. Uh, tactical deployment, we laid it out. Um, airstrike support units, we're too far away for any airstrike. Let's see, actually no, Solemn is taken now. So actually we can do out of Solemn. So let's go ahead and do one. We'll do one. Um, and then let's do one of our artillery that's a one strength. So let's do the airstrike first. So roll the 2d6. <clears throat> a five and a four, five is a retreat. So he is retreated. So perfect. So the he goes the artillery, even though we didn't get to use him, we did use him, right? So he goes in the support bin, bummer. Um, aircraft goes in the air use bin. And we get to go ahead and stay in old city Barani. Now, also, before we forget, um, there is a Desert Fox point table. As you start taking locations, you are you do gain some of the Desert Fox points. Remember, we spend those for like reinforcements and stuff. You do gain some. So we took Solemn, we get one, puts us at 21. We did take, and now what, City Barani, which is worth one. So we get another one there. Perfect. That's it for now. Yep, that's it for now. Okay. Um, now we'll have the combat here at Hellfire. We already did uh, reaction, right? I believe, yeah. Let's go ahead and just have our combat there. Now this one, I don't think, let's see. I'm sure we're gonna whoop them here. All right, get everything all lined up here for the uh, tactical deployment. Um, we have one aircraft left, which we can use from one, two, anywhere. We had, remember, because we saved one spot, I think. Yep, so we, we have, in which we have one left, so we're gonna go ahead and commit him. Might as well use him now, because we get him back at the end, as long as he doesn't roll terrible. All right, um, I think that's it. We're not gonna do any other support, so we're just gonna have our aircraft. Let's go ahead and conduct the airstrikes. He has a strength of two, so we roll two dice. Four and a two. Fortunately, that does nothing. Um, nothing bad, but nothing good either. So gonna put him aside. So now we're gonna have the, um, now we're gonna have a full like regular combat, which you guys, this is the first one you guys have seen. It's exciting. All right, so we determine the tactical edge first. Um, so we're gonna have, roll for each side. Basically, it's like an initiative. Think of it like an initiative. So, uh, the, our, our side, do we have any Panzers involved? So if Rommel's involved, it's a plus one. We don't have Rommel. Um, are there Panzers? Yep, we have Panzers, so that's a plus one. Um, actually, no, we don't have Panzers, do we? These are uh, Italian, so they're not, um, they're Italian units, so they're not Panzers. That's a bummer. Um, G2 marker, we don't have that. Desert Fog Index, is it high? So we do get a plus one for that. Um, the allies do not have any army units involved. The terrain is even, blah, blah, blah. So we get, basically, it turns out, the modifiers, we get a plus one, plus one to our gray die. They have even on that. So we'll get and roll. So four and one, oh, excuse me, two and three, they win. So they get to go first. That's a bummer. Um, thankfully, though, so you go first in the combat. So basically going to take turns shooting each other. They only have one unit, so he just goes once, and he only has a strength of one, so only gets to roll one die, so we're going to roll. Looking on the uh, battle results table, ground unit, attacking ground force um, in open terrain. Basically, he gets, yeah, if he rolls five or six, it's bad for us. A one is good for us. 
four, nothing happens. And he's done now. He spent one. Now we get to start attacking. And because there's no more of him, instead of going back and forth, it's just going to be all of us. So this infantry here with two. It's going to go ahead and roll two. And we want fives and sixes, baby. A twos. Okay, nothing. Now this armor, um, Italian armor will attack with three strengths. So you get to roll three dice. Five and a six. Now it's a retreat and an elimination. There's only one unit. We get to pick. Um, except we can do eliminations first. So he is eliminated, or put in the temporary eliminated box, I should say. And we win. Win that battle here at Alfaya. And we take it. Oops, and I do want to make sure we spent a, again, supply on that. So that's my bad. Kind of, I'm kind of messing up on the supply a little bit. Um, not totally messed up. I'm just not declaring it ahead of time that I'm using a supply for that. Um, so just, just remember, you want to discard a supply if we're going to have, uh, you know, be in supply for combat and such, which I definitely did. So I did want to, I mean, all right. Um, let's see here. Should we do a pursuit? I think we should also Safaya. So uh, it is worth one. It is worth one. So we go up to 23 desert Fox points. Let's do Let's conduct a pursuit, which thankfully for us basically means both of our mechanized get to move up here along with the supply. Um, the infantry he's motorized. Actually, he's looking motorized infantry. Actually, so he goes with him. So they all get to move up. Or is it, or is Pursuit only for tanks? Let me double check the rule book. I think it's the first time I've had to refer to the rule book, so not doing too bad, guys. Don't judge me too much. Pursuit. Um, PAA, so Axis Motorized Type Units. Cool. These had to be in supply during combat as well. That's another reason if you want to be in supply during combat to help you. So boom, we took two of these. Unnamed space, we don't get any Desert Fox points for it or anything like that. Um, all right. That was the combat subphase. Took a little while, but we got through it. Now we go to the logistic phase. If you want to um, flip any of our units to um, depot status or anything like that, we're not going to do that. Um, we're going to go ahead and uh, we can spend supply to refit any reduced pay units, including air units. So let's go ahead and spend how many supplies we got? One, two. Let's spend this supply. And so we're going to get two we can get two units back we're gonna get both of our long-range bombers i'm gonna go ahead and put them in our back in our display so we're able to refit them all right let's go to the allied uh, middle eastern command phase so now they do a bulletin which is they're gonna draw commando raid uh-oh so that will be they're gonna target siwa down here um commando raid if access units do not occupy the siwa oasis which we don't we're moving towards it but we didn't make it um roll one die Two, one to three, select and eliminate one PA supply unit on the map. Oh, man. All right, so we lose another supply. Let's see. Uh, damn, that sucks. We're down only one on each stack there. All right, thanks. Oh, and then it's uh, return. So he goes back in the bins. We can draw him again in the future. Yay for us. All right, um, now the allied air subface. So now we're resi resolve allied air attacks. I know you guys can't see the table, but basically we're going to roll against... Um, they're going to be attacking our air units, they're going to be attacking our supply, and they're going to be attacking our combat support units. Um, as of right now, die roll modifiers are zero. Um, and low is good for them, bad for us. So we want high. We want to see high. There's no modifiers, we want to see high. High rolls, high rolls. Are you kidding me? Okay, so the first one is Axis Air Units. A2, which means um, that many TAC, LRB, or air supply units get placed in refit. I know you guys can't see it, but I have... One um, air supply, and I'm going to grab one of the long-range bombers I just bought. We're going to put both of them over in the air unit refit box. Bummer. Now we check for supply units. Again, low is bad for us, so we want high. Five. Only one. S1. Select and eliminate that number of access supply units on the map. So we do lose another supply. That sucks. And we only have the two here, so boom. So we're down to one supply. See how quick supply goes? We started with a bunch. We're literally down to one supply on the map. Whew, bummer. All right, um, and then finally, access combat support units. Again, we want to roll high. A two, that's not good. A two is U1. What's that? U1. Select and reduce that number of access combat steps on the map or eliminate that number of access support units in the available display or a combination. Um, we're going to eliminate... Eliminate one of these engineers here and go ahead and put him in the support. So, all right, that is the counterattack. Oh, excuse me, that's the air subphase. Now we go to the 
counterattack. If currently any allied units in the same spaces as our Axis units, you must initiate an allied counterattack. There are none. And we kicked their butt and got rid of them. So no worries there. Uh, now we check for replacements. Basically, um, the three units that we had quote-unquote eliminated, they call it temporary eliminated, we go ahead and roll to see if they um, go back on the map. Um, they're going to roll with a, because they have allied air superiority, they get a plus two. So if they roll a, if they roll one or two, each unit is eliminated. Roll each time. One or two, it's eliminated because they have a plus two. And then three, they're going to remain. And then four or higher, they are um, put back in the regroup box. So let's roll for the first one. So we just put back in the regroup bin, I should say, not box. Three. Um, so he actually stays in the temporal eliminated box till next turn. And five, he is put back in the regroup bin as well. So good for them. They got their unit, most of their units back. All right, allied replacement subphase is finished. Now we end of turn phase. Administrative subphase, return use air units. So all of our, so we had our three um, long range bombers that survived anyway. They get to go back in, in our available. Um, our four, yep, four TAC aircraft, tactical aircraft. Go ahead and send them back to the available again. Victory check. No need to check for victory. It's not turn seven yet. So now we go ahead and we will go on to turn two. Um, let's go ahead and pause the video here. All right, we're going to start turn two. I'm going to play through turn two and think I'll call it. Um, oh, put Rommel back so we know we have him again. Let's go ahead. So I moved the turn marker to two already. Um, we are ready to go. So let's start at the beginning of the sequence of play. Commando Supremo phase. Now we get to turn two. We get to draw from our cup. So let's see what we get. Pastico. Pastico means deploy one supply unit on any space in Libya that contains an Italian unit. All right. And then he goes back in the cup. So we get a supply. Let's see. Libya, let's go ahead and place him right here in Fort Capuzzo. Perfect. All right, that was a good one for us. Now we check for reinforcements. Um, our Axis Supply Reinforcement Table. Excuse me, it's the reinforcement phase. So first we're rolling for supplies. Uh, if you remember from last time, roll a 1d6 here. Uh, we have no modifiers because it's still allied here. Oh God, okay, one. So we get two supply. That sucks. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and put one on this port here. And the other one is gonna have to go in Tobruk here. Okay, that's a bummer. Okay, um, now we can spend our Desert Fox points to purchase. Um, let's go ahead and purchase so one, two. Let's spend two points to purchase. This is a tactical unit here. We'll go ahead and purchase that bad boy. Yeah, see that? Um, put him in our uh, air available. And then what's this? Did I not put these in there? Okay, yeah, okay, we'll put these in there. Not bad, okay. And now let's go ahead and spend, we want some support units as well. It's only one each, we'll, we'll buy three, one, two, three. We're gonna buy three, so out of our cup here, we draw three of them. So we get a ugh, signal, artillery, which is defensive, and then another another signal, cool. Or uh, like you know, intel, intel, not signal, they're intelligence, so. Both of them, put them in our support available box. Very cool, not too bad. All right, um, I think that's it for what we wanna buy. Uh, I don't really buy any more combat units at the moment. Should I? Nah, I think we're good. Ugh. Yeah, we're good there. Okay, let's let's not do that. Um, intelligence, I don't plan to attack this turn, I don't think. So we're not gonna spend any, um, use our signal, or excuse me, our intelligence assets, our support. Not gonna use those, so we'll skip that phase. Let's go to the operations phase. Um, we have our long range bomber, bombers. Let's go ahead and send, we have four of them. Let's go ahead and send all four against the um, air power index again. Hopefully with better results, we're gonna roll. Four, one each, so we roll four dice, a one and a six, and then a two and a three. So the one means one of them is sent to the refit box, bummer. Um, however, the six actually puts two hits. So the air superiority, air super, whatever counter drops from nine to seven it's not quite to parity but we're getting there we're getting there these will go to air used all right ground movement uh, what i'm gonna do i'm gonna go ahead and this supply one two this supply one two what do we got here 
three. We have full stacks. We have full. Um, checking for full. He can move here. He'll fit there. This one. He's in. He can move one, even though he's out of supply. And then one, two, th three, four. Four. Yep. And he'd actually be of six because it's an administrative move because he's not entering a enemy space. Uh, and I'm going to see here. And what do we have here again? Full. Yeah, they were full. Full stacking. So we'll just go ahead and move. One, two, three. Here. And here. And then our recon, they're unfortunately they're out of supply. Uh, we, don't have any, we don't have an extra supply to send with them. But they're the only armored recons, the only ones who can travel through the deserts. So we're going to send them. So can they move to uh, supply motorized? So they're going to go one, two, Siwa. So they'll be at Siwa. Hey, if there's any raids launched, at least, you know, commando raids, they'll be there. I think that's it for movement, right? Yep, so we moved up our supply all the way. Basically get it to the front. Um, we kind of consolidated our forces, got it moved up. I think we're, uh, we're done with our movement. Allied reaction. We did not enter any spaces. Oh, no. Wait, 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 wait. We did enter. The Oasis is a one. So we did enter CY down here. So let's check for that. Five. So nothing happens. Um, okay. So there's no reaction from the allies. Um, combat. There's not going to be any combat because we didn't, we're not um, in the same, occupying the same space. Logistics phase. Let's leave. Let's leave our, um, uh, you know what I'm going to do? So what I'm going to do is we're going to leave, um, these as is, we're not going to flip any of them over, but we're going to spend a supply to get our two long range bombers out of refit and back to support. So we can use them again in the future. All right. Um, I think that's it for logistics phase. Yep. Let's go to the allies phase. Um, bulletin. So they go ahead and draw one. Alamine line. Uh oh. Um, Alamine line. Pick one Commonwealth unit from the regroup display. Oh, for each of these, and then deploy them. Um, yep, okay. So then we just do discard that. It doesn't, it doesn't keep happening. So, basically, they're reinforcing. They know we're coming. <laughs> they're eventually, so they're reinforcing. You have to make sure they can only have four. Yep, there's four in Alamein. Add an additional to Alam al Hafa, and an additional to Ruasat. So three there, two there, four in Alamein. So El Alamein cannot be reinforced anymore under current stacking limits. All right, that was the Allied Bulletin subphase. Allied had air, or Allied air. Oh, God, this hurt me last time. Let's see what happens. So um, attacking our air units. Remember, higher is better for us. So roll high. Four, A1. So we suffer uh, one of our units has to go to resupply. We're going to send a, put a tactical unit there. Um, and now for access supply, please roll high. A two. A two is two of our supplies. We lose two supplies. One, two. Really? Oh, that's a bummer. Dang, we're down to one again. Like, literally, this is why I try to get the, the air superiority down because they're just wrecking us. And now, damn, allies air. Their air power. All right, Axis Comet and support units. Again, we want to roll high. A two. What's a two? You won. So, Axis Comet units or Axis support units. Uh, we'll get rid of this engineer, last engineer. All right, well, that's it for the allied air after this wrecked us. Um, Counterattack. Um, there are no units in the same, occupying the same space of the opposite side, so there's no counterattack phase. Replacements, remember they had one unit left from last turn. They go ahead and roll for that guy. Same thing as before, plus two. So one, two, he's eliminated. He was eliminated, like permanently eliminated. So there's a permanently eliminated box. We'll put him in there. Um, end of turn phase, administrative, so we'll get our long-range bombers back, plus we get them back with the other ones, so we actually, next turn, we have five, so we're gonna, and we're still, we're definitely going after that, we're just trying to get that track down, that's what they're trying to do, that's their main goal. Victory check, it's only turn two, so don't worry about that, and now we would continue on to turn three, but I think, hopefully guys, get a good idea how the game works, um, let's recap, we started off basically only occupying Libya, um, there are allied forces here, up against us in uh, Solom and Halfaya here in Egypt. We pushed them out of here. We were able to do some pursuit and continue because we had mechanized forces leading the way. So we got a bunch of mechanized forces up front, a little more infantry in the back here, basically. Um, we have some armored recon down here at Siwa Oasis. May try to send them the long way around, attack Cairo from the rear, maybe. Who knows? We'll see. Um, 
but you saw how air power works. You saw how, and even if you can't see some of the tracks and stuff, I think you have a pretty good idea of how things are working. Not the same thing with the boxes. I'm manipulating a lot of boxes off the camera, but you know, I'm, I'm trying to talk about it as I do it. So you guys should get a pretty good idea of how everything works. So, um, yeah, hopefully you like this view of the game. Again, I have a bunch of, a uh, bunch of videos for this game co or coming out. Um, comment below if you like this. Um, I don't think I'm going to continue this playthrough. In fact, I'm pretty much going to not. But like I said, at least you got guys got a couple turns. I had a couple different people asking. So you saw a couple turns of it action. You can see how it works. You can see there's like kind of some different moving parts. Um, and spoiler alert, I do really enjoy the game. And you'll you'll find out all that in my overview and review video. So, all right, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, Till next time. Later.